Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to Valhelsia. I was just preparing myself to leave the hut. I am a little scared to do so. There was a creeper outside when I went to check. Uh, somewhere, or, oh, there you are. <laughs> just have a little swim. Uh, so some things you may notice different about this episode, seeing and hearing, which I'm just noticing now is very loud. <laughs> so there has been a new mod added in. Uh, I assume it's this one. There, I can't remember what it's called. It's like the ambient noises. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit quieter. Uh, all the birds chirping and the grasshoppers hissing, I guess. Which is, uh, yeah, really nice for this series, actually. I quite like it. The other thing that's a little bit, little bit different is the shaders. The water is now nicer looking. You're getting a little too close for comfort, Mr. Creeper. I'm. Why am I so slow? I feel really slow. Maybe not. Um, that's weird. Uh, yeah, so... I've managed to get a higher resolution shaders pack working, so it's the same Sildur's Vibrant Shaders, just the high resolution version instead of the light. And I've also had a couple comments in the previous two episodes saying about motion blur. Now, I personally don't get motion blur when I'm looking around like this, so I think it might be a YouTube thing that when they, you know, process the video and compress it, it might add a little bit of that, so... I don't want you guys feeling sick when you watch the videos, but there's nothing I can really do about it. If we just go to shaders options down here and to motion blur, you can see it's set to off. So I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, if you got any of these things I can play around with and potentially make it a little more, uh, a little less strenuous on your eyes, then yeah, let me know and I can change that for the next episode. But as of right now, I'm not really too sure about to do uh, what to do about the motion blur issue. So. Hopefully you don't mind. I, I can't really fix it right now. But anyway, we should get on with today's adventure, starting by slay... Oh god, I'm falling into the water. <laughs> Slaying this creeper. Oh no! I'm not really sure what direction to go in. Down here looks like something interesting. I assume that's a coral reef, so we could go and check that out maybe. But over here is a desert. This is where we've just come from, so... Yeah, really either of those two options, and I'm kind of wanting to go check out the coral reefs, so I think if we head in this direction, and by the way, you probably heard it a little bit then, but listen to those underwater sounds, that is amazing, with the little fishies. Oh, I could swim down here forever, well, maybe not actually, otherwise I'd drown, so I should probably <laughs> get back up to the surface. I'm quite sad to be leaving our little acacia hut over there, but I guess that's really going to be a theme of this series, building a nice little home and then having to leave it in our tracks. But hey, that's the point, right? We're here to explore the world and see what it has to offer, and we're going to have to build things and leave them behind. So can't think too much about it onwards and upwards, right? Um, so something I'd actually like to do today, which we started a bit in the last episode, is if we just open up our backpack here, put some more food on the hotbar, we got a load of this chitin. chitin. I still didn't check if I was saying that right, so hopefully I was. Um, I would like to get ourselves a full set of armor today, so I am on the lookout for some giant beetles, which seem to have all kind of disappeared a little bit. Why? Well, you're not a giant beetle, but you definitely are a beetle. Look at that thing. Oh, that's so cute. I wish I wish Minecraft had more mobs like this, the tiny little ones. It really just kind of adds something. I kind of want to kill them just to see what it drops in case it drops chitin. I feel mean doing this, but it, it survived a sword hit. That is one very strong beetle. What did you drop? A slime ball. I could probably use that at some point. That is ice right next to a desert biome. World Generation, what are you doing? <laughs> Makes complete sense, right? Uh, so, oh, big lag spike, sorry about that. Uh, I think we're heading in the right direction still. No, we are not at all, I have gone way off track. Well, what is over here? Oh, this looks interesting. Maybe we can check this out real quick. That looks to be lava, maybe. Um, oh, even more over here. Wait, I've already been here then, if that's loaded up. Yeah, I want to check this out first of all, then maybe we can go over to what I think is the coral reef again. Um, there is a coyote around here, which I actually had a comment in the first episode. I cannot remember who from, I'm really sorry. Uh, but saying I should tame one of these things, but I don't know how. I assume bones, maybe. Perhaps we could give it a go. Um, do you like bones? Maybe? Let's, let's try this. No, okay, not a fan. I don't know if that's possible. You guys will have to let me know. How exactly am I meant to get up here? <laughs> this is a very steep mountain, I guess. Is, is this normal ice? 
Yeah, I guess what I could do is make my way up using water. I don't see why not. I'll probably make a bit of a mess, but I want to get up to the top of here and see what is, uh, yeah, waiting for us. Ooh, listen to that wind go. You can tell we're getting a little higher up the mountain here. The sun is also setting, but look at that big waterfall I've made. <laughs> uh, we're nearly there, though, so may as well carry on recording, right? See if I can hop my way up. Wait, did that not break? That looks to be not broken. Okay, try that again. Right, nearly there. I would actually quite like to sleep, but I haven't really got a place to do that at the moment. Oh, it's getting very dark. Oh, stop it, please. Okay, nearly there. Let me hold my torch so you guys can see, kind of. Uh, this ice looks really weird with this uh, lighting. Okay, we made up to the top, and there is just more ice. Let's actually go to bed. Aha, we can see again. So where is this pond? Oh, it's not just that. Wait, hang on. Oh, actually, no, that looks really good. The lava, look at the lava go. Okay, I'm sorry, we have to stay and watch this. <laughs> I'm probably going to be sat here for quite a while, but look at this little little perch spot for me to go. Is it going over the water? Yeah, look at that, all the, all the water's melting from the lava, and it's just creating a bunch of cobblestone, which is actually causing a little bit of a cascading effect, because it's pushing the lava out even more. Oh, it's, what is that down there? A shark? Yeah, that's a shark. This is a really nice area, minus the giant lava fall that's coming down to ruin everything, but if we're just like looking at this, <laughs> it looks really nice. That waterfall looks awesome. Now that the water actually isn't like horrible quality, everything looks a little bit nicer. Are we, are we nearly there? Maybe I can go down a little bit. There's a bird somewhere. Oh wait, no, that's the uh, <laughs> that's the sound pack thing that got added. I do really like it though, all these extra sounds. It definitely makes the game cooler and more immersive. Okay, we've been here a while. I kind of just want this to speed up a little bit. Okay, that's long enough. Hopefully that was satisfying for you guys to watch. Me, not so much. <laughs> I just watched that move very, very slowly. Part of me kind of wants to dive in this water, but then I'm just going to have to climb all the way back up. So I'm going to say no to that idea, and hopefully I don't fall and just die. I don't really know what happens if I die, because I don't know if this actually sets my spawn, this sleeping bag. So I assume I would just go back to the hut that we made last episode. Alright, now where do we want to go? Nothing of interest really around here, I'm assuming that's just another bit of water. I say we should maybe sort of head in this direction and then go check out what I think is this coral reef. So, what is that? This way? Somewhere around. Yeah, we'll go here. I don't quite know why I'm walking down like this. What I probably should do is ride the waterfall down. We're, oh no, too fast. <laughs> Let's let it flow for a little while. And now we can go. Whee oh, still too fast. Okay, well, ow, it helped me a little bit. What is this? A little cave. Got a punch of sand, of course. How can I not? <laughs> oh, wait, what just happened there? I was eat, trying to eat my pork chop and I right clicked on this cactus looking thing. Oh, it gave me some sort of item. Cactus fruit. Can I eat it? I'm not hungry at the moment, so I don't really know. What can I do with it? Uh, what is it? Uses? You? I can make a, fru make a fruit salad. Oh, that's cool. I kind of really want to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go punch a tree real quick over here. Ah, yeah, I want to get a fruit salad. Maybe I can kill that crab. No, I've, I've killed enough crabs these past two episodes. Maybe I'll leave them be for today. I'm not actually struggling with food. food as you can see, I've got a good number of pork chops. I would like you real quick. I'm going to actually need two of you because one is going to turn itself into a crafting table. Okay, don't often do stuff like this on camera. I usually skip this, so <laughs> hopefully it's not too boring. Uh, quickly, quickly now. And then we'll place it down and make ourselves a bowl as well as some fruit salad. What was it? Like that? Awesome! Whilst I'm here, I may as well make a boat since we're about to go on the ocean. There we go. Okay, let us set sail. There are some seagulls squawking, which is still really confusing me. I keep thinking they're just going to be around. All right, let's go sail into this coral reef. At least, I hope so anyway, otherwise <laughs> this is going to be a little bit of a disappointment. I think this is it. Maybe? That looks kind of colourful. Yeah, this is a coral reef, right? Are we over? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's get out and change angle. Uh, whew. Oh, this is amazing. I, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest, <laughs> but this is really cool. Hopefully you guys can see something and YouTube isn't uh, making this horrible to look at, but for me, this looks 
Amazing, actually. I could, again, stay down. Oh, nope, done it again. <laughs> let's let's go back up, get some air, and we can take another quick look before, uh, yeah, heading back out. Do I need anything from the coral? I don't really see why I would, would I? I think this is a shipwreck. I can't really tell with the shaders. It's too bright. Yeah, that is. That's wood. All right, let's quickly head in here and see if there's anything of interest for us to take. Uh, how do I get in? I got to remember I don't have respiration, so I can't stay under here forever. But there is a nice little air particle for me to catch my breath. Mm, not really that helpful. I'm not going to borrow... Uh, actually, maybe I could with the buried treasure map. How do these work again? Uh, I guess I could keep it and then if I stumble across it, maybe I will, uh, yeah, go check it out. But where is the other chest? I swear there's maybe two in, uh, in, what are these called? Shipwrecks. <laughs> maybe the other one's in here. Oh, no. Okay, let's hang on. Get some, get some air first. And then we'll dive back down. Can I fit through this window? Why am I struggling so much to do this? Aim! And we made it. <laughs> where is the chest? Here we go. Some emeralds. Probably will never need them, but I will definitely take the iron. I'll leave the gold nuggets, nuggets for now. Oh, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> what is that? A badger, maybe? Yeah, a badger. Oh, it's cool. Hopefully not a honey kind. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm probably going to die. No, you seem to be a friendly badger. Look at those claws. So thin. <laughs> Can't even see them from this angle. More badgers over here, I think. These guys are a different color. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I told you guys I cannot get enough of this Better Animals mod. <laughs> it's probably going to stay like that for the entire series there. Always seems to be new animals that I'm finding. Sun is setting. Look at that gloriousness through the trees. And there's a little deer over here. Oh, Bambi. I, I killed some of you in the first episode. I still feel bad about that. Whoa. Look at that. There's a zombie in there, and I don't really need anything from inside there. So I'm going to walk past and, yeah, not head in. Actually, you know what? I should probably sleep first. Where are all these beetles? I could not get rid of them in the last two episodes. I don't know why they're not showing up anywhere. I kind of want this chitin armor. That was my plan for today's episode. What is that? What is that? Is that a white pig? That looks to be a white pig. Hang on. Oh, wait. You're, are you the angry kind? Yep, you're the angry kind. What are you? A boar. Why are you white? I didn't know boars could be white. Unless they're albino, I guess. Sorry, but you attacked me first. Oh, we're a little hungry. I can have some of my fruit salad. Is this going to fill me up much? Not too bad, actually. Can you see them in the distance just over here? Sheep and cows. I'm going to level up my backpack again, because that's what we need to get it to the large backpack. So four leather and four wool. Hopefully that's what you guys have. I've shown enough animal slaughter on camera recently, so I figured I'd just go ahead and skip that. And yeah, we've got enough wool and leather. I completely forgot I already had tons of wool left over in my backpack originally, but can't help to always have more, so I shared them anyway. Look at all of that room. Oh, that is plenty of just room for me to carry all of my items around. I didn't really even need half of this stuff in here, but... No reason why I can't keep it. I, you know, I don't know why this isn't a feature in vanilla Minecraft. Like, that's not that much of a modded thing, just to be able to click a button and automatically sort it depending on what type of item it is. I really wish that was a feature. I, yeah, definitely would be very helpful. I found a village. This something is dying. <laughs> I think the coyotes are after the rabbits. Poor little things. Uh, yeah, so this is just a normal 1.14 village. So much better looking than how they used to be. I don't think anything is different about them. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, so I don't think there's actually anything for me to take from here. Because there's no chests in them anymore, right? Oh god, is there mobs around? No, I don't think so. Are there any chests? I'm not sure. Nothing in here. This is a nice looking house. Uh, nope. Okay. I don't actually know what to do. I maybe will take the hay bales just because... If I ever need a lot of wheat for some reason, then yeah, getting all my <laughs> getting my hands on all that is going to be quite painful. Whereas this is uh, yeah probably plenty, I would imagine. Hang on, there is a blacksmith here. I didn't think these buildings existed anymore. I could be wrong with that. I haven't really looked into 1.14 that much. I'm still a little bit unawares of everything. But is there a chest? There is. With not that helpful stuff. I will actually take all of it though, apart from the apple, because yeah, my sword is about to die. So. Quite helpful. Oh my, this coyote is really giving it to this villager. He's trying to kill him. They're evil. <laughs> I thought these guys were nice. Obviously not. I mean, look at the eyes. I probably shouldn't just stand back and watch this, but... 
he, I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be he'll be up. He'll be fine. Uh, let's turn around. I want to actually sleep in a bed, which hopefully is not going to be taken, just so I can set my spawn if I was to die. But I'm not getting much luck at the mayor. Never mind, spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, let us sleep away the night. Ah, you calm down now. Look at you all innocent looking. You turn into a right demon when you're hungry, coyote. <laughs> um, yeah, so there is actually a chest in one of these houses I looked in real quick. Didn't have time to actually open it. Look at this, this is cool. This is what I'm thinking this isn't like a normal uh, vanilla thing because they don't usually do that unless that's just part of the mod. Inside is some corn. Maybe I'll take that because <laughs> why not? I don't really need anything else. Um, okay, I guess we can carry on. I honestly forgot what I was doing before and which direction I was heading in. Oh, that's it. There's a cat around here somewhere and I have two cooked cod. There he is. So I was thinking, also a creeper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that enderman really trying to give me a fright. Okay, let's see if I can actually get my hands on one of these kitty cats. This guy over here, where there's two, right? There's the black one and the white one running around. This enderman needs to stop, really. Pig, Pig, do you want to want some cod? Do you want to follow me around? No, okay, where actually have they gone? Oh, here you are. Okay, come on, kitty, it's fine. Like, you would like me. If they take two cod, then I will happily take them around with me for the entire series. Have myself a little companion. Gets lonely out here sometimes. Uh, but they don't seem to really want it at the moment. Cat, where have you gone? I, I Have I lost him? I found him. He's over here, still running away from me. Cat, come back. Come on, please. Where have you gone again? <laughs> Honestly, this cat is magic. Oh, there you are. Okay, maybe I can just... No, 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 don't run away, don't run away, don't run away. I have cod for you. You like fish, right? Fish, good? Yes? Come on, cat. Oh, you would literally rather go in the water than be my friend. I see how it is. No, come on, I have fish. Please, please stop swimming. He's not even swimming. He's like walking on the water. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Never mind. Just the uh, water looking all weird. Come on, cat. Maybe if I just like go after him in the water, <laughs> this will work. Before he gets to land. Nope, okay, I'm just going to trap him on this island instead. This works. This works. Stop swimming, cat, please. All right, I'm just going to force it down your throat. That works too. It's like trying to give a cat a tablet or something. <laughs> they do not want it. All right, buddy, you literally have nowhere else to go. It's either me or... Or the entire ocean. I'd like to think you'd pick the right option here. Come on. Come on. Turn around. Turn around. Yep. This way. He's still scared. Look at him. He's so panicky. Come on. This way a little bit. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. We might be getting somewhere here. Maybe. He's not running away from me at least. Now he is. <laughs> what is going on? Cat. Come on. Please. Okay, I step back a bit, hoping he's going to come on shore, now that I'm not in his way. Maybe this cat just really likes water. Perhaps. Come on, you can do it, just, just, maybe if I go around the back and scare him. <laughs> we'll scare him this way, do a little swim around. Doesn't seem to notice me at the moment. I feel like I'm Jaws or something. Come on, run this way. Go on, cat. Yep, there you go, back onto land, where you belong. There we go. Okay, now I can focus on staying very still and... Oh. <laughs> I am so close to giving up on this cat. I swear to God, he is being so stubborn. <gasps> yes. Come, this way. Cat, come on. No! <laughs> Please, just walk this way a little bit. I'm not kidding. I have been chasing this cat around for about 15 minutes now. Okay, he is right here. Now I'm just going to stay still. And he's still running away. Am I like, does they, do they not eat cooked cod? Is it only raw cod that they eat? That they eat? That could actually be the reason. Um, maybe. Let me check that. Ah, <laughs> oh, yep. Only raw cod or raw salmon. <laughs> not cooked cod. Wow, I've just wasted a lot of my time. Hello, guys. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Go on, kitty, get him. Get him. <gasps> I bet the cat was working with them all along. That, that's the only option, right? It has to be that. Can't trust that cat. Okay, maybe it was good that we didn't tame him. Definitely would have stabbed me in the back. All right, maybe we will tame something another day. For now, I think I'll leave it and be, uh, yeah, just continue on as myself. But uh, yeah, I think I've done everything in this village that I wanted to. We can, oh, berry, slow me down. All right, where shall we head now? I'm thinking, this looks quite cool over here. Maybe we'll check that out real quick. Oh yeah, of course, it's the cave. Wait, this isn't the same cave. This is another one. This is massive, and there's pheasants everywhere. 
Ah, oh, that goes down quite a ways. Do I actually need anything? I could probably use some more coal, actually, for torches. So I'm just going to hop over here real quick and get some. Hopefully this is coal. Oh, that took a lot of hearts. <laughs> i got to go careful. I don't have Feather Fallen. Well, this is quite the mountain. And do you know what that means? I have to climb it. So I don't really know what the best way up is. Maybe I can go, like, along there and into that valley area. I, there's probably nothing even up there, but I just feel like... You know, when I see a mountain, I've got to climb to the top of it. Before we climb that mountain, I actually need your guys' help with something. It won't take a couple of minutes, but basically, I ordered a new microphone and it came a lot sooner than I thought it would. Now, this episode goes out in a couple of days and I'd like to just quickly squeeze in like a test of what it looks like so I can gather some feedback before I go on recording episodes with it. So. I'm going to plug it in real quick, you guys can have a listen and let me know what you think. So, here you go. Okay, so this is what it sounds like, and yes I know, it sounds a lot different to the old mic. <laughs> That's because that one that I've had for many, many years now is not very good quality. It's simply just a microphone attached to a headset. Nothing special at all. This one right here is a little more professional and actually sounds good, so therefore it sounds different. <laughs> now, I've been messing around with the settings and trying to tweak some things for quite a while now, and honestly, it sounds pretty normal to me. It didn't at first, it was very bizarre. It was like hearing my own voice for the first time again. Did not like it, but yeah, I've gotten used to it now, so I'm hoping after a few episodes you guys will have adjusted to it. That's the plan at least, but if you guys who know a little bit more about audio could potentially help me out a bit and tell me some things I can change with it, because I can't really get it to sound any different. Anything I change, I can't really tell a noticeable difference, so... Yeah, let me know what I could do to make it sound better or yeah, any any changes I can make. I do have a pop filter, so you shouldn't be able to hear any air blowing on the mic when I see my peas. Peter Piper picked a pickle pepper. I don't know the rest of that tongue twister. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've got that. And yeah, just let me know any settings, any software I could download to potentially improve it. Uh, any settings I can change in OBS, which is what I use to record, and any settings I can change in SUNY Vegas, which is what I use to edit. So, yes, or potentially like how I position the mic, I'm speaking fairly close to it and fairly directly into the actual microphone. So, yeah, just anything. Those of you who know more about audio than I do, which I'm sure is a lot of you, because <laughs> I'm pretty clueless. Uh, yeah, let me know on some changes and just whether you like it or not. Think it sounds good or oh, well, hopefully you do. Otherwise, it's a bit of a waste of money. <laughs> but there we go. Anyway, let's get back to what we were doing before. Climbing a mountain, right? Yeah, let's go do that with the old microphone, of course. Oh, that was quite the climb. Not very easy, I will tell you that, but we made it up to the top and I am rewarded with this floating stone pillar of magicness and wonderment. Anyway, uh, on the other side is probably not going to be anything else other than just some more interesting terrain. Yep, oh, that looks quite nice actually, that big U-shape. Cool. Uh, and then down on here is just another steep descent I have to go through. <laughs> I forget how many blocks you can survive when you don't have feather falling. It's like 24, right? That's not 24 blocks, no way. Let's find out. <laughs> oh no, we're fine. I was pretty close again though. I could really do with getting some good armor and actually enchanting it, but yeah, really having no luck with these beetles still. This isn't normal vanilla Minecraft villages, is it? I've never seen anything like this before with actual animals inside. I'm thinking there might be a mod installed into this pack which improves how uh, normal villages look. Because, yeah, this is not normal, right? Like, there's there's not a red terra... Is that red? I don't know. <laughs> a terracotta house? I don't know. Maybe there is and I'm just being clueless. But this is really cool. I'm actually running out of time and I'm kind of half tempted to, like, set up in one of these homes. But... Uh, to save out on being really cheap and not building anything, I think we might actually just like settle down here maybe and build ourselves a home and see if we can fit in with the villagers for the night. Can you guys tell me if this is a regular Minecraft village? Because to me it is, or it isn't, sorry, I've never seen anything like this before, but maybe it is, I don't know. That's a very strange looking house, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll set something up over here. A chest. What is inside? Nothing. <laughs> Another chest. Also, nothing really. I'll take those emeralds, because why not? Some cauldrons. Okay. 
A brewing stand. I don't mind if I do, actually. I'm not really that bothered about going to the nether anytime soon, so that could be quite helpful. Another chest. There's no way this is a vanilla village, right? Some bread and a saddle. Oh, I'll actually take that in case we ever want to get ourselves a horse. I'm kind of tempted to make a little hobbit hole in this piece of land right here. I'd have to build diagonally, and I've never really done that before, but could be something a little different to try, perhaps. You okay, guy? You're kind of ruining the view of what I've done so far, but I will uh, let it pass. Yep. Yeah, that's all right. Carry on walking. Yeah, you walk away. Um, <laughs> no, so how does this look as a little bit of a overhanging roof? I don't know. As I said, never really done diagonal building before, so I, I don't know. I, I guess it's okay. I would quite like to have some terracotta here as our, you know, facade to the building. And obviously there's no mesa around, so I'm thinking I maybe nab a little bit from this building over here. I'd quite like some uh, yellow as opposed to what I think is red. And there's a little bit over there if I need some more, and some more there. So yeah, this should be good. I will replace it, however, with the cherry wood that I'm using, just so I don't completely ruin how these buildings look since we are setting up here. This guy must really like my home. He hasn't really left my side and he's been doing a lot of that <laughs> whilst I've been building it, but I've actually gone ahead and finished everything here. Stuff is spawning, so I'll make the outside bit quick, but we've got a little mailbox here, uh, which is um, having some weird shadowy effects. Not sure what's going on there. I've put up a couple of banners because you mm, can't really see it. Can you just see it there? They have some banners up around, so I nicked a couple of them from their homes and, yeah, decided to uh, represent a little bit, shall we say. And inside, of course, looking lovely and cosy. Got a pressure plate here because why not? Uh, probably going to walk into that a couple of times. And, yeah, again, not really too much going on here. I'm fairly certain when it comes to doing these houses, I spend most of my time just looking through all of the options that I could possibly have. And yeah, it, it takes me a while. <laughs> I've been here for like a good 45 minutes just sort of figuring out what I should place down. Uh, so we've got a usual table and chair. We can have a little sit as we usually do. Some tool racks behind us. Just a bit of a uh, few crates where I've dumped all of my stuff in that I'm not taking with me. Got a chest, which is just an acacia chest from Quark, which looks kind of cool actually. I, I quite like it. Um, and this is actually a spice rack and I've just decided to put some food up here which uh, yeah, I think looks quite nice as well as a sword with another weapon rack right above my bed ready to slay any mobs that dare come into my hobbit hole whilst I try and get him skeleton get him woo get him woo! yeah well done <laughs> uh, yeah that dare come into my home while I sleep but uh yeah, I, I think that's everything I had to say. I feel like there was something else, so before I end the episode, I'm going to cut and actually think <laughs> what that was, because I, I think there was something else I was meant to say. I honestly have forgotten. I cannot remember what it was. It probably wasn't anything that important, and besides, I'm sure I remember as soon as I finish recording here, <laughs> just as Sod's Law tends to be. But it's getting nighttime here, and the stars are all out, all out looking very pretty. Spiders are about, and you guys know that I hate them. <laughs> so I'm going to head inside and actually end off the episode here. Maybe it was something about the chitin armor. I don't know, but we will do that. Is there a spider coming for me? I think so. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that next episode. Didn't have much luck with the beetles this time round. Uh... Yeah, so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope you did enjoy it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I've also learned I can do this, which is kind of cool. So wait, what, what should we get? What should we end off here with? Uh, I will see you in the next episode. So thank you for watching. And <laughs> bye for now.